Good morning, sunshine. All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Monkeys? The sun is coming. It's coming. I see it coming. I'm busy working in the office. Uh, I had to do the kind of awkward uh, letting someone go. I had to release a post it note. It was kind of sad. I took it off the wall. It was like, well, we tried, we tried, we gave him lots of chances. He's actually written to me saying, oh, please, sir, I've done this, I've scheduled this, I have hired someone to help with this. Like, it's just too little, too late, one of those. And also the pattern of having to chase the guy. Like, please, can you do the work that you're hired to do? And I've even got Angela taking off oh, a bit loud. Angela is spending her time on it chasing him and he's not really replying he's not really responding oh i'm at a festival i'm away this weekend it's just like you know what i'll hire the real expert who's really on it and he's immediately he's getting on it okay what i want to talk about next is the continuation of a story of the hard drives which i now keep on the floor if you haven't seen the video then you can find it the original video was called I blame myself for everything because oh they're not on the floor they're on the bed right now but my drives here I usually keep them very safe on the floor that way they can't fall very far boom and so they can't get damaged I lift them up and put them in the office department when I uh, begin working on... I don't even know if I've got time right now anyway to work on them. So they can stay on the floor. The mistake I made was a drive dropped from like a height like this. It fell. Nissan Micra, I need to remember to tell you that story too. The storytelling is just growing and growing. And I feel like if we've missed the moment you'll miss it. So this is what's going on. The guys at the uh, hard drive recovery lab, they're like, we've recovered your drive, but the price, look at that, right? 670, that's, almost 700 pounds now my initial reaction was this is a scam they're screwing me over it's a trick they're holding my hard drive hostage um, I'm projecting victimism like I'm a victim and they got me and they tricked me now it might be possible and there's a guy who I found on eBay who I mentioned he would do it for like 250 but it's too late. They've already got the drive and I've already told them, go ahead and do the work. So they're holding me to ransom. Now, I looked at some of their reviews and I was like, oh, the reviews don't look good. Some people send in a drive and never get it back. Other people, the reason for the extra £100 charge is because I've asked them, to send me one of their drives because in the reviews I read if you send them your own drive they'll keep that too like you send a broken drive and you send a replacement drive they keep the replacement drive and then they still charge you to send so it seems like this dodgy kind of review but benefit of the doubt right I'm gonna I was almost gonna go physically in person go there, knock on the office door, say, hi, I'm here, I'll pay, you know, if you give me the footage and I can check the drive. Problem is, it's going to cost me a day, it's going to cost me the emotional strain. I thought it'd make an interesting video, going in there, like, filming them. Right, give me my footage back. We want to see Trump a mountain. And if we don't get it, we ain't paying nothing. I was like, you know what? 
maybe this is just my fearful projection, my victimism, my like, oh, poor me, they're out to get me. And I pretty much decided I just won't bother with this. I'll just fuck it off. Like, I'll just, just forget it. Keep the footage. Lose it all. You know, people have stolen so much Sebcam from me in the past. Stolen tapes, stolen drives, missing years of valuable, nostalgic memories. And I'm like, you know what? If I get screwed over one more time. But I'm like, how will I ever know if I'm being screwed over if I don't pay them? Does that make sense? I'm not being foolish here. I'm actually testing my own theories or paranoias, right? I'm like, maybe they are a legit, like, maybe if I pay... They will just send me my shit back. And we'll live happily ever after. We'll, we'll be able to watch all the old Sebcam videos. How will I know? What's the word of the day? How will I know? Unless I do it. I just, I covered the screen with this. What the hell is that? Tepishore. Tur, turpish, turpishore. The Muse of Lyric, Poetry and Dance. Mm. I ain't never heard of that. So I put the post-it notes over the screen to keep my information kind of personal. You know, I don't want to say that they're good guys yet or bad guys. So I don't want you guys banging down their door. Give Seb his stuff back. Maybe they're, they're totally cool. Maybe they just charge a lot. Like, I respect that. I charge a lot for my services too, because they're good, <laughs> right? Like, maybe it is legit. How will I ever know? I could drive there, uh, get a train there, bang on the door, film them, demand my stuff back. I could just ignore them. <laughs> How am I going to really know? I'm just going to just pay. I'm just doing it right now. I'm getting my card out. I literally have the money. I've been away making movies happen. I am a film star with the funds. Why don't I use the funds to fund the YouTube? So the YouTube is getting more and more expensive because of the old footage and the hard drive. So I hope you kind of appreciate the lengths I'm going to that I've put all my money into this, into this, Re reducto, I always think these are like messages, there you go, look, wow, I'm like, it is a message, the method of proving the falsity of a premise, by showing that the logical consequence is absurd, or contra, wow, wow, reductio ad absurdum, yes, that's what I mean about law of attraction. That's what I mean about word of the day. Word of the day shows up and tells me shit. I'm like, yes, maybe it's a false premise. Maybe it's a reductio absurdium thing. Like, maybe it's all in my imagination that they're scamming me and screwing me over. How will I really know? I blame myself for breaking the hard drive in the first place. I blame myself for committing to fix it with them. I blame myself if I have to pay a high premium. Now, if after all that, I don't get my footage back, if after all that they screw me over, then sure, I've lost almost 700 pounds and my footage, but at least I can sleep with peace in my heart, peace in my fruit. <laughs> I like how I grab it like that, like, see that, see my peaceful nibble, I can know, I can have conclusion, is that the word, yeah, now I'm like, what's the next word of the day, dictum, something about a pronouncement from an authoritative source, anyway, 
I get distracted by the word of the day. I'm like, yeah, that's so awesome. I'm going to write that one down. I'm going to make that part of my book. I'm writing my book. And it's all about false premises. Right now, the bit I'm writing about is all about the myths, the storytelling, the lies we've been told, conspiracy theory, whatever. It's just lies that we've been fed and believed to be true. Oh, come on, sunshine. There's a point where it kind of tips around and I can see it from inside. Whoa. But that ain't right now. I know the camera's a little bit kind of, whoa, eh, uh, getting my hands in the way. I'm missing my selfie stick. So while we're on the subject and you see that little car out there, there's a Nissan Micra. The saga continues with that one. I spent 200 Again, another kind of Seb Cam spending mistake. I spent 200 and I felt in my heart that it was a bit uncertain. I was like, really? Do I want to spend this money? But I thought I could make money on it. I left it with the garage while I went away to France and Spain. I came back expecting it would have an MOT and I could sell it. They haven't done it at the garage. They haven't done anything. They haven't even picked up the, the, like, the car. They haven't they've done nothing in two weeks. So I laughed at the guy, at least you're consistent. Like, he always is like that. He's just the local garage guy. And he's like way busy, crazy, like running around being a mechanic. And it made me think, do I really want to do this? Like, I have to MOT the car with someone else. It's off the road. It's not taxed. I have to find someone to buy it. Maybe no one does buy it. Like... What am I doing with this car? Oh, I have to register it. I have to be a registered keeper. I'm not the owner. I'm just the keeper. The the uh, looker after her, the babysitter, the car sitter for this vehicle. And I don't even want the vehicle. I'm not going to drive it. I don't drive. I run. I bike. I hike. Right? I'm a strong human being. My Ferrari is built into my legs. I have... Lamborghini ankles, <laughs> right? My um, my body is my my transportation. So I've decided I'm just gonna ask the girl, can I just not buy the car? Like I've already given you the money, but can I give you it back? Can you give me the money back? Can I give you the car back? This isn't working out. To be continued. That's what I'm saying. That's why it's currently a post-it note. I don't know how it's going to work out. Um, but she's leaving the country in a couple of days. And she really wanted it kind of like the deal to be done. I'm like, you know what? We might just have to undo the deal. Less headache for me. Less headache for the people who are worried about where you're going to park it. Less headache for the future for like trying to sell it. I just felt like I'm like, can make money being a... A wheeler, dealer, reseller. It's not really me. I'm not a salesman. I'm not a car, second-hand car salesman. Like, I'm just listening to people online and, and they're like, yeah, you can flip it. Buy shit, flip it, make a profit. Sure, it's not that simple, though. This needs a part fitting. It might not even pass the MOT. Right now, if I get my refund, I get 200 pounds, like, I'm up by 200. That will decrease the cost of the hard drive. Let's consider it only 470, because I got 200 refunded. Like, I'm 200 up. That's a better situation than I'm in, where I have to get an MOT, I have to pay the guy more money, I have to lose more money, I have to then spend time, maybe days, weeks selling it to someone you know advertising it meeting the guy and showing him a test drive that's just not me that's not me okay i really want to get a screenshot of this because i think it's amazing how it showed up and you saw it in live time law of attraction showing up identify the false premise this isn't the one it's the next one after this <laughs> This was the weird potion one, isn't it? Oh, this is the muse, the dance. Okay, let's do a dance. Do a little dance. Shake a little love. 
Get down tonight. Get down tonight. And muse over lyric, poetry and dance. So it's amazing to me that I now know a fancy word. What I've always called it is identify the false premise. Call out the BS. Call out your own lie because it might not be true. And call out other people's lies. They're like, I could never do what you're doing, Seb, because blah, blah, blah. I'm like, uh-huh. Identify the false premise. Maybe. Maybe. It's not true. Maybe you could do, be, whatever you want. Oh, it's the potion one. Come on, hurry up. The people are waiting. The people who live inside the camera, we're all waiting for the word of the day. Come on. I got an idea to do more reactions, by the way. Look, subcam reactions to old videos. I feel like some of the old videos that are uploading, they don't get much love. People are like, oh, I've seen it already.